Hey, how are you? I am here today to review four K-Beauty cleansers, in case you didn't see the title. And this video is in partnership with Stylevana. So if you're not familiar, Stylevana is an online retailer that has a plethora of K-Beauty and J-Beauty products sold at a better price. So currently Stylevana has the best price for everything I'm going to be reviewing today. And that seems to be the case with most of their products, including, you know, cleansers, of course, but also sunscreens and other stuff. Also, if you're new here or recently new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. If you like skincare content, ring the notification bell, turn all of the notifications on, please. And give the video a thumbs up so that I know that I'm doing a good job. That probably sounded really selfish, but it's true. So I'm very happy to do this video today. Thanks for reaching out to me, Stylevana. This would be my first partnership. Let's hope I don't mess it up. So I let them know that I only review fragrance-free products on my channel. Of course, there are exceptions, like my last video when I tried fragrance for the first time in eight years. But generally speaking, I really only like fragrance-free products. I just am not a fan of synthetic fragrance. It overwhelms my senses and makes me feel sick. They came up with this idea for me to review 4K Beauty cleansers, and I was excited because I don't use a lot of different cleansers. In fact, for the past six or seven months, I've only been using one cleanser, the Vanny Cream Gentle Sensitive Skin Cleanser. When they approached me, I had already ordered a new cleanser the Aveeno Foaming Cleanser, and I was very curious to try this because I've never tried like a foaming cleanser before. I think historically foaming cleansers were seen as sort of harsh and stripping, but I think that that's kind of an outdated idea. You know, the foam can just be administered from the top that you add to the packaging. It just so happens that all four cleansers that they are were going to send me were foaming cleansers. Couldn't have come at a better time, Stylevana. Thank you for reading my mind. But yeah, oh, did I not did I even mention that they gave me a code to share with everyone for 10 to 15% off of their entire site? It excludes some weekend deals, but otherwise it's totally fair game. The code is INF10RTS. So I think I should just tell you a little bit about my skin. I don't classify my skin as particularly sensitive, and in fact, I use many actives that people would consider intense, including tretinoin 0.1%. I'd say that my skin is kind of resilient at this point. It still is really dry. What I'm really looking for in a cleanser because I am an acne prone individual is something that won't strip my skin, but still do a good job at cleaning all of the sunscreen that I wear on a daily basis. Over the past few months, I've really been struggling with breakouts, but I haven't broken out since using these a month before. I, I can't remember the last time that I've had a month long period of not breaking out. We're definitely on to something here with these Korean cleansers. Now let's talk about the first cleanser, the Benton Deep Green Tea Cleansing Foam. This is one of the t one of the two that isn't a foam in the traditional sense. It comes out almost like a gel and a little goes a long way. When you add wa water, it really lathers up and just like lasts. You don't need a lot of this, which is really nice because like I said, I was used to the Vanny cream and I would find myself needing to pump out like four to four pumps to really cover my neck and my face. This one has rosemary leaf oil in it. So that's an essential oil. You might want to stay away from that. Uh, the scent is not too strong on this one, um, but definitely can smell some of the actives, which I don't mind at all. We have green tea leaf water, green tea seed leaf, and root extract. So basically just like a whole green tea plant is in this. They also have some Centella Asiatica extract, allantoin, and panthenol. So this is presumably a really anti-inflammatory face wash, but to be honest, I was really surprised and caught off guard because this caused a lot of tingling for me and the package doesn't really mention any of this anywhere that this is like really an exfoliant. But when you look into the ingredients more, there is actually willow bark extract in here um, and we don't know what concentration it's at, but that is a natural source of salicylic acid. It's really strong, okay? I've only used BHA at a 2% concentration of salicylic acid in the past in a face wash. So it could just be that my skin does not have a tolerance for BHA because I don't use leave-ons even. And this might be 
a much higher percentage than 2%. First of all, my skin was very like shiny, like squeaky clean looking. It didn't feel overly dried out, but I did notice like red irritation around my eyelids, which of course is like the thinnest area of her face. Over the next couple of days, a lot of peeling. It really felt like I had administered my own at home BHA chemical peel. You know, like I said, it left my skin really shiny. It left it very smooth and the blackheads on my nose like melted away. I have texture issues, especially on my nose with bumps, and those were just like completely gone by the next day. This retails for around $10 on other sites, but on Stylevana right now, it's going for around $8.50 US dollars for 120 grams. So that's actually a really good value for what you're getting. And I would really consider this a chemical exfoliant, but I'm really baffled by the fact that the box doesn't call this out as an exfoliant. So I would say proceed with caution if you're gonna use this patch test for sure. And if you have oily skin all around, this might work wonders for you. But for me, moving forward, I will likely only use this on my nose, but I think this is a really interesting and great product. I just feel like there needs to be a little bit more caution advised. The next one, Isntree. I've never used anything from Isntree. This one is a foaming cleanser in the traditional sense that it creates like these sudsy bu bubbles out of the pump. This one is unscented effectively. Obviously no fragrance, but it has no detectable scent when it comes out of the bottle. So it's good for people who really dislike fragrance. Like I said, the whole foaming and stripping ideology is outdated. And actually on their site listing, they claim that the dense micro bubbles created from the pump reduces the friction between your hands and the skin, which leads to less irritation and a better clean. So whether or not that is true is kind of unbeknownst to me, but it did feel very effective at cleansing my skin. I only needed one pump for both my neck and my face, and it didn't feel like I had to do any excessive rubbing to get off the dirt and grime from the day. They do use a patented formula called their Derma Clara formula. It's a slightly acidic bubble foam, and it's said to protect the skin barrier while also moisturizing. So it definitely has some ceramides in here. Also has some calendula flower extract, which is marigold flower extract, which is supposed to be anti-inflammatory. And some other ingredients that I really haven't heard of, to be honest, arginine, alanine, histidine, leucine. So I think all of these kind of contribute to it being this supposedly moisturizing face cleanser. And I think that's really their ideology that a cleanser needs to do more than just cleanse. <laughs> Um, it needs to provide moisture and build the skin barrier in tandem and that's kind of a paradigm shift for me because I definitely fell into the category of thinking like the simpler the better, all you need a face wash is something that will get the dirt, grime, and sunscreen off, but perhaps there's some real utility in having more hydrating and calming ingredients in every step of your skincare routine. This one definitely left almost like a film on my skin, but it didn't feel like dirty or grimy. It just felt like I had moisturized my skin right after cleansing it. So that's definitely a kind of like a new concept for me. Um, but something that I could potentially get behind if I have some assurance that it's really gotten all of the sunscreen off. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed. I will likely do another fun experiment with these cleansers. So, you know, I think the technology in here is great. It's patented but I think that actually does come at a cost. This is a 150 milliliter bottle, which is a pretty good size. I think it would last a while, especially because you only really need one pump, but it retails for over $20. Um, it is significantly marked down on Stylevana. Right now it's about $15. It's the best price that I could find online. So I think at that price, I would definitely repurchase this, but probably not above $20 for a face wash. I think patents and everything, that's fine, that's that's great. You know, they did studies and something, but I don't really wanna pay for that. But yeah, I'd say I approve of this one. Okay, let's move on. The next one we're gonna talk about is the B-Plane Greenful pH Balanced Cleansing Foam. I was under the impression that all modern cleansers are pH balanced to some extent. This one missed the mark for me though. I was really caught off by the texture. I was not expecting this. Another reviewer that I saw of this said that the little fragments in it are mung beans, which accounts for 32% of the formula, which is a lot. I only used this twice because I wanted to give it a fair shot, even though I really don't like using physical exfoliants on my skin. Yeah, 
So now that I'm looking at it closely, I just, I'm very skeptical about this because they're not consistent in shape. Yeah, I'd say just skip this. Even if you do like physical exfoliants, you want to use something like jojoba beads or something that are uniform in shape and smooth so that it doesn't cause any tears on the skin. It's also very odd that they don't like mention that this is a scrub at all. They just call it a cleansing foam. So I think that's really misleading. You know, I'll say that it definitely didn't dry out my face. It didn't feel dry, but it just, I'm not comfortable with using something like this. So I think that's enough said about that. Finally, I don't have a box because it didn't come in a box, which is amazing, by iUnique, um, the Centella Bubble Cleansing Foam. And this one is similar to the Isn't Tree in the consistency. It is a pump bottle. And it's interesting because it's made with 69% Centella Asiatica water. And I'm assuming that's just the Centella Asiatica plant steeped in water, but I don't know, let me know if that's not true. This one also has some pH balancing claims. So, you know, maybe there's some assurance that your skin is going to be at an optimal pH level for your other actives to work. It has some skin barrier repair ingredients like allantoin and trehalose, chamomile oil, which is technically an essential oil, make note of that. There's definitely a smell in this one. It's very mild and somewhat pleasing. I really didn't mind it. Overall, I felt like this was like the gentlest cleanser of all the products I tried. It left a little moisturizing film behind like the isn't tree, which I wasn't mad at. So again, it feels like you're not only cleansing, but moisturizing with this product. My skin just feels like very nice and smooth the next day. And it felt like it, it was an effective clean. It really, one pump was all I needed to get my entire face and neck. I probably used this one the most in the past month. This one's 150 milliliters that retails for around 15 to $16. Stylevana, of course, is the best price that I have found for this, and I would definitely purchase this one again. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you, and let me know if you're going to try any of the ones that I do recommend. Let me know if you've already tried some of them, if you have differing opinions, if you have a different skin type, let us know in the comments because that could be really useful information to people watching. Subscribe, notification bell, thumbs up, please, please. What else do I need to say? Thank you, Stylevana. I'm glad that you believed in me and I hope you like my reviews and want to still work with me in the future. But remember, I will always be honest. I'm gonna go edit this now so that I can get it up in time. Have a good day.